Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Summer Heat, new loading screen came out today. I wanna to talk about it and what these two car designs mean to me and what that tells us about this upcoming promo in FIFA Ultimate Team. We have to talk about that and also the Ultimate Tots guaranteed SBC that came out today. Um, originally, we were thinking, we weren't really sure what was gonna happen. Maybe they were gonna release it as a reward, as a Twitch drop but they actually released the SBC today. So that was four guaranteed SBCs that we had during the Ultimate Tots week. I guess you could consider this one not a part of Ultimate Tots uh, since it came the day after, but uh, it was kind of crazy that we got that SBC today. I wanna talk about that and the market movements that happened because of the SBC as well. But the first thing that I wanna talk about is that loading screen, cause this promo is looking interesting to me. It's starting to look a lot like Footies, and I want to talk about why I think that. So again, this was the loading screen from today. We got two, not one, but two card designs that they uploaded. Very interesting card design with the, the color kind of splashing out of a white card. Uh, the only other white cards that we have in this game are icons. So that is interesting to me. These are not icons for sure, but they're giving us another white card version. This is going to be very, very interesting to see what they do with this. But the way that I think this looks like it's going to go down is this looks like a rare kind of item, maybe like a, a voting item. And then this looks like the premium SBC or, or maybe card that's going to be in packs. This, this right here with these card designs and the way that EA is showing that this to us on the loading screen today makes me think that this is basically footies rebranded. It makes me think that we are going to be getting footies on Wednesday, uh, which one is when this promo starts. And they're basically just rebranding what footies Mean. So they're calling it summer heat, but they're going to encompass a lot of things underneath it and not just call it footies. Here's why I think that. So again, this is like a rare gold version. You can, you can, it's kind of hard to see behind my face cam, but if you look at the loading screen, it just looks like a rare gold card with the notches at the top. And then this card on the left, it's got the more regal card design with an, an uh, outline on it. And then the colors are more vibrant and they extend throughout the card and actually go outside of the card, more of like the 3d model, right? So um, we have two different car designs that we know of already, and this is what I want to talk about from last year, and this is why I'm thinking this is basically going to be footies, because check out this Lozano last year, right? We have the gold trim, we've got the, the Regal car design, you know, with the, the two notches at the top and not just one on the edges. Um, look at the base version, right? It's basically the exact same thing they did last year with footies. This is the rare gold voting version that you got as a player pick when you went into Ultimate Team on that Friday or on that day when they released the the player pick for whoever you would vote for. So you chose that player, you picked that player, sent it to your club, and that was a vote for the footies player, right? So this was the, the footies winner card, as you can tell. It's just kind of basically the same card design, but just dressed up a little bit, which is the exact same thing that we have here. Th this card design on the right, on the left, almost exactly the same, but the one on the left is dressed up a little bit. That is making me think that this is basically, we're gonna be getting footies this week. That is what I think. Uh, based on seeing this car design today, EA is probably gonna continue to give us little tidbits of information through the loading screen. I would imagine this week, if they're already, I mean, it's Saturday uh, and they are updating that loading screen, um, you know, and the promo's on Wednesday. So I kind I find that a little bit interesting that they're upgrading the loading screen and, and showing us new things that quick um, already. So I do kind of find that interesting. But again, to me, that's what makes me think that footies is going to be intertwined somehow with the Summer Heat promo. Now, this would be starting early because last year, I think for footies, uh, we were starting in like July. Uh, I think the first, it was like during the first week of July is when footies came out. Uh, and that is when... Uh, that's obviously a lot earlier. That, that would be an entire, you know, two, two and a half weeks earlier this year if they started the actual Summer Heat slash Footies promo on Wednesday. But I'm feeling the Footies vibe for this promo, and that's kind of why. So watch the loading screen throughout the rest of the week this week. We might get some more hints. They might start to tell us a little bit more information. I still don't think it's going to be cards in packs, like just with that card design uh, and the way that that looks. It just looks like Footies. To me and hopefully you understand that if you got any comments on that or or you, or you think uh it's going to be something different let me know down in the comments below we'll talk a lot a bit more about um some of the market related things with this promo coming up as well but first i want to talk about the the sbc that came out on saturday as well again 
the ultimate tots guarantee so we didn't even know if we were going to get this right but ea dropped three deluxe tots sf guarantees throughout the week earlier three of them man three of them and then we finally got the ultimate tots guaranteed today but there was a whole fiasco with it it was out for about 15 to 20 minutes and then ea took it down and i want to talk to you guys about that really quick too you were probably around for this ea tweeted there was a technical issue with the ultimate tots guaranteed sbc that necessitated it being taken down briefly it is now available again we're actively working on a solution for affected players more details to follow so the issue and, and of course you know this is ea sports so we're not getting detailed content here of what the actual technical issue was but we really know the technical issue if you were watching streams if you were on twitter if you were looking at and talking to people that had opened that pack in the first 15 to 30 minutes when it was live in foot there were so many people packing jod and sancho sancho's were getting packed all over the place it was crazy john and sancho had the same drop rate basically as what you would expect oblock summer and maybe like immobile and luis alberto to have he was getting packed right left and center and if his card is right here this dude tanked today he absolutely tanked because he was getting packed so much so i think the issue that ea is talking about the technical issue was uh, that so many people were packing this card and it's too good value. We can't have everybody packing this card. We have to have people packing Summers and uh, Oblox. We can't have people packing Sancho's they could actually use. So I think that is why EA took the SBC down today. They also mentioned that they were going to uh, work on a solution for affected players. What does that mean? Are you going to be able to like get the pack back again? I do not think that's going to happen. But what they're going to do is if you completed the SBC um the first sbc if that makes sense if you completed the first sbc uh, and opened it before it was taken down what they'll probably do is give you the players back from that first sbc that you submitted so that's how i think they're going to compensate you they won't give you another pack because you were able to open two if you opened it, it it re it came back up for you and you were able to do it again right so i think they're just going to give you those players back from the first ultimate tots guaranteed i believe that's how it should go We'll see what they do, uh, but that would be the thing that would make the most sense to me. So we'll see what they decide to do, but that caused some crazy market movements regardless. We basically saw a bunch of panic selling and panic listing on the market because people in this game, they're broke. People on FIFA are out of coins or low on coins right now in foot. Now, some of these cards have rebounded a little bit, but if we take a look at some of these, these graphs, people panic sold cards today that they were using to get a chance at this SBC. Now it makes sense to maybe try a few of these out. Uh, or, you know, you, you wanna get this SBC, you wanna try it out, try to get your messy or whatever, right? But take a look at some of these drops. We're just looking at Awar right now, right? Awar was 277,000, 280, 270, or 250 on the Xbox this morning. The SBC comes out, he drops down to 240. He hit 200 and he was actually 220K on the PlayStation for a bit. He was 230, he was 216 on the Xbox, and he has since risen back up 30,000 coins uh, on, on the PlayStation 4 because people are now buying these cards back after they sold them, and people were you know, buying them back to finish their weekend league game. So you saw that on a lot of cards today. Di Maria was 250, he was over 200, 300,000 coins at one point earlier this weekend. Sanchez was over 600K, Marquinhos was 240K. A lot of the um, cards out of packs dropped a bunch. Lala. This guy was like, how much was this guy? Let's let's look at this graph. This is a crazy graph. Uh, he was 400,000 coins this morning, man. And he went down all the way to 306. And he's back up to 330, right? People panic sold cars today on the market because they had to go do this SBC. They didn't pack what they wanted to, so they bought back their cards. That's what's going to happen with a lot of these guaranteed SBCs. We saw it happen with the party bags earlier this year and even with the deluxe packs earlier this week. Uh, so it was like, uh, if you bought some cards in this in this flipping time zone here, this range, I mean, you're making some decent money if you were on the market and trading during that time frame. But that's kind of why you saw the market take a big drop today. Now those prices, like Lala was 300k, now he's 330. I would, um, I would highly expect this Kenny Lala card to return somewhere back down to almost or right around the 300,000 coin range again where he was today in the panic sell because tomorrow or today, Sunday is going to continue the weekend league sell off. So basically what we saw today during the panic sell is 
you saw a point to where cards got low. Now they've kind of rebounded back. And I do think they're going to reach that low point again. I'll look at, um, I'm going to look at Renato Sanchez. Well, they're going to reach that low point again on Sunday as people continue to sell off cards from their weekend league squads because they're just done playing the weekend league and all of that. So right now, I think Renato's like 560-ish, 570-ish, 560s. Like I would, I would expect this Renato card. Where did he fall to today? Where did Renato Sanchez fall to today? Around 6 to 10 p.m. UK when there was a bunch of panic. Where did he go? So this card was 600,000, 618,000 coins before the SBC. He went down to 540. He's back up to 560. I would absolutely expect this guy to be back down in the 530, 540K range um, today on Sunday. What we saw last week when people thought Ultimate Tots was basically done, right? We thought everything was done. And, you know, that was the last week in League. You can sell your cards if you want the coins or whatever. A lot of the lowest prices were actually on... Um, on Sunday night into Monday morning is when you saw a lot of the lowest prices on these TOTS cards. Is that going to be the same case again this week? I think yes. For a lot of cards that are rare, that are meta, that people are going to buy, I don't think people expect the new cards that are going to come out during uh, summer heat to be better or higher rated uh, than the TOTS cards, right? Like we should not be getting any cards that will come out for a player that already has a TOTS card that's probably going to be their highest rated, either a team of the year or the tots. There probably won't be anything else that comes out that will eclipse that card rating. Now, there could be some summer heat cards, aka footy cards that come out that would have, you know, some boosted ratings as well and be tots level. But you just can't, like, EA knows this and they never do this. Team of the season cards are the upper echelon, right? It is the team of the season. That is the upper echelon, unless they're going to change something and do something wild and crazy. That's the upper echelon, and they're never going to kind of cross that. If a player has a TOTS card, he's not going to get another card over the summer that will boost them higher, uh, in my opinion. Now, I don't know if that's going to change this year since these are team of the season so far items, but um, I think that the footies cards are it's what's going to be coming out this week, and that's all SBC related. So there's going to be link investments that are going to be something to look out for this week, but if there's cards that you want to trade with, and if you just want to watch the weekend league sell-off, what I would do is just watch cards that drop a lot this week. You saw me add a couple cards to my transfer targets as well. Think about what everybody did today when they packed that Sancho, right? Hakimi, Hummels, and a lot of the Dortmund guys, and Robertson as well, because a lot of people were packing Mane today in that first hour of the SBC. Uh, so like Robertson boomed up in price. But let me show you Hakimi because of everybody who was, who was packing Sancho. Take a look at this guy's rise. Uh, basically just today because of everybody packing Sancho, the link investments to this card went nuts. 160K this morning when the SPC came out, bang, 218,000 coins a peak the hour after. He was probably even higher than that at a point as well. Now he's kind of back down to 200. If I see this guy um, back around like the, back around maybe in the range of like 170, 180,000 coins, at some point this week, this is going to be a great weekend league flip for the next couple of weeks because um, a lot of people now have an untradeable Sancho in their club that they're going to be linking or try to get links to, especially with a 4-5-1 being a very popular formation this year. That would satisfy links for both Hakimi and Sancho. If you put Sancho at right mid, Hakimi at right back. Uh, but you also saw guys like Hummels go up today. And I don't know about a guy like... Um, a guy like Royce, but I think Royce probably could have gone up today as well. Like, look at this, bro. Hummels was 79K this morning, and he uh, boomed up to 110,000 coins right now. That's crazy. But just maybe look out for some of those Sancho links for some of the, um, maybe even Jordan Henderson. I know a lot of people packed him today. Uh, wow. Yeah. This guy is up a decent amount as well. Take a look at Mr. Royce. Actually, he's not up that much. He's just risen last week since being in packs maybe you see an extra rise on a card like royce or maybe even a card like vardy with the uh the english links uh, a weak link to sancho but a very easy link to the rest of the squad so maybe this guy after weak link sell off is back at 350 where he was last week he could rise a little bit extra is maybe people link their sancho to the vardy in like a 433 type situation that's just something to remember and think about for the rest of the week this week but a lot of the icons, especially, and really rare cards, like Tots cards are going to become really rare and more rare, even though they were very supplied during those leagues, people are falling off. Like there are people stopping the game, quitting the game. It's just not worth it for them anymore. So cards 
that are very valuable that are team of the seasons that we've talked about and looked at, especially some of the league guns like the Marquinhos, the Lala, or maybe like a Timo Werner, um, you know, cards like that. These are types of cards that you're probably going to see fluctuate and be very good to trade with and um, good to watch for, watch move on the market um, in the next couple weeks for Thursday flipping. If you want to buy some of these guys, I still think that you're going to want to do that on like a Sunday night kind of time frame. Um, because I think what's going to be coming with summer heat and like the footies esque type promo is something that you won't have to worry about too much because right away, if the promo starts on Wednesday, that's the day before weekend league rewards. So we should have, we should have ultimate tots weekend league rewards. If we had the first vote that day, if this promo is like footies, we'll have that first vote on the day one with the footies cards or, you know, with, with the rare gold version of the car design we saw today, then that SBC would probably come out on Friday. So maybe that's why they're starting the promo on Wednesday because they're going to do footies basically and the voting's going to come out Wednesday. So that first player, the promo will actually start and there'll be a bunch of stuff in packs or whatever that might actually start on Friday. So that's something I guess we could possibly see as well. I'm just trying to think through things and create possible scenarios. But if there are tots cards you want for your team or if you're trying to make some coins, uh, I think you probably want to start to look at those Sunday night tonight um, with weekend league rewards sell off, not weekend league rewards, just weekend league sell off in general um, on a lot of these tots cards that people are loving and they're using right now. FIFA is not dead, boys, right? FIFA is not dead. The content is not being lived up to par with what we would have liked in the past week, but that is keeping people, some, some people, on the game because they're just not satisfied. And now they see this and it kind of has them wanting more with the Summer Heat promo. So, um, that's kind of my thoughts on that. I guess we, we should probably talk about SBC fodder, right? We should probably talk about SBC fodder and what happened to that stuff today. Um, a lot since the, the SBC today had 70 chemistry, since there was 70 chemistry required for that SBC today, I tweeted this out right at 6 PM UK with the content tweet that I put out. Um, I bet that I, did, I did, ended up not even looking at some of these guys prices, but the very good link, the center backs always go to the moon for some of these SBCs because of the links that they provide, especially when you need 70 chemistry. PK was 33,000 coins this morning and he's still rising. He's 44K, 46K on the Xbox. I heard that some of these guys went extinct. Some of the 84s, 85s went extinct because it was an 89 rated SBC. Um, and, you know, you needed, probably already had like in some some high rated 90s TOTS cards in your club. But like, look at these, look at these bounces in price. 37K, up to 47,000 coins. And I think there are some like, oh, wow. Ozil is 8K. Yeah, so the 80, 84s, 85s, and 86s, I think went up the most percentage-wise today if they were good link, good nationality. Lacazette's 22K. He was 12K last week. Ozil is 9,000 coins. He was like 3,500 coins last week. So, uh, yeah, there was a lot of fodder that is up right now. Some people are like, yo, should I open packs right now because fodder is high? I mean, technically, if you get a board drop that is an 83 or above, that's an automatic 3,000 coins, basically. And if you get a walkout, that's an automatic almost 20K from the gold cards that are in packs. Uh, it's like an automatic 20,000 coins. So if you're a league SBC grinder, right now might not be a terrible time uh, to grind some of those league SBCs. If I'm being completely honest, maybe with squad battle reward supply, uh, you get some extra supply for the silvers, and then you're able to make some coins off of that. So... That's just an interesting thing that did happen today. So fodder is very high, uh, and this SBC does expire in three days. I mean, we're headed into, if this is a footies promo with Summer Heat, that's just going to be more SBCs coming. So EA could drop some packs, like uh, like some Summer Heat tradable packs, once the promo comes out this week to maybe try to drop and supply some of that SBC fodder. We shall see. But, uh, yeah, it was a pretty crazy day on foot with the ultimate tots guaranteed and then a uh, summer heat loading screen. I don't expect today on Sunday to be that crazy, but we'll see what EA wants to do. Uh, but Saturday was a pretty eventful day with the guaranteed and with everything else going on uh, in the game. So that's my thoughts on summer heat. That's my thoughts on what happened with the market today. Expect more sell off today around, around the league, across the board, all leagues, all cards, uh, weekly sell off, anything that is usable. Some of these prices are getting stupid, stupid cheap, but it's just the end of the year, right? A lot of you guys want to know when to sell, when to buy. Always take it with a grain of salt at this time of the year because it is the end. 
prices are going to fluctuate a lot. If they re-release past promo cards into packs two, that's going to make the market go down because people are going to start opening packs with coins because they think they're going to make their money back. We'll talk about all that later this week. Uh, if they, if I do think they're going to do like a best of with or re-release cards back into packs, which I still think is going to happen, but we'll talk about that a little bit later in a video coming up soon on the channel. So if you enjoyed this one, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.